In this video, I'll cover details on scheduling and best fit for uh, optimization when you're setting up initials. So on today's date in the calendar under day view, I have the calendar open and also the work pool is open. So when I'm adding in a brand new customer, I can do so a few ways. For this demo, I'll create a work order from that page, keeping the map in the background, and then add a customer here. So I'm just going to add a, a sample customer. And let's do an address that's in town and oh really quick if your mobile number would like to uh, receive text messages go ahead and mark it mobile if it's a mobile number and you don't want it to get test text message reminders just have it as other home office anything other than mobile and then that won't get a text message So I'll not fill out all of these details, but select a referral source and then hit next. My billing is going to be the same as my service, so from this point I'm just going to select a property type and create a work order. From here I'll say it's a bed bug inspection, review the pricing, all looks good. And when I click on schedule, you're going to notice four boxes that will update, I'll show this a little better, that will update this information based on what I click. So when I click number one, it updates it, plus it will show my text work for that date. So today is Friday, this is Monday. The next optimal time to set this service would then be on the 15th. And I have another tech and another tech. So three techs on the 15th, one on the 13th. So if I'm speaking with my customer and the 13th isn't going to work or the time that on the 13th won't work, I can then move to a different day. For instance, if the 15th will work and I need to set that time, I can do so right here and, uh, and be done. But let's say that the job is the appointment times are not working for the customer. What I'm going to do is add this to the work pool and then save. Once I do so, I will need to just refresh my calendar so my work pool appointments grab that customer and I'm going to isolate the work pool appointments which show up as black circles to just the one that I set up today and when I'm paging through each day today I can see where that service is best so it looks like truly any day uh, will work for my calendar and if it's on let's say Tuesday near number three so number three is this one what I can do is click the number three and see how far away it is so that's three miles if I'm looking at let's see number five two miles so on the 13th it is the best uh, if I need to fit this in on the 15th, four miles. And let's see, so each time I click a pin, it's going to give me the distance. So three miles on Thursday. So from here, I can then reset this appointment by dragging it into a space. And that's the best way to manage scheduling a new customer and setting them 
in the calendar at the most optimal time. So once more, when I create a work order and I pick that customer or I add in a new customer, it will immediately tell me what the best time and day and technician is for that particular job. So I'll go ahead and click that and set this for another bed bug treatment and save.